go. I mean, why, why wouldn't I want a life of happiness with Patrick? Why would I hold on to a dead person? I don't know. You tell me. It makes no sense. It doesn't have to make sense. Look, <clears throat> there's nobody else out here. You're in a safe place. So go on. Say it. Why are you holding on to a ghost? Maybe because deep down inside, I still think Jason's alive. There's this voice inside of my head, and no matter how hard I try and stop it, I can't. I just hear over and over again that Jason didn't die. And it keeps telling me to hold on to him that he's coming back. And it's obviously insane. Isn't it? I'm losing it, aren't I? No, I don't think No? So. Well, then what would you call it? Love? Oh, it's just that Jason beat the odds so many times. He was practically invincible. I mean, the fact that he didn't die in the water that night alone is just... How do you do it? How do I do what? What do you mean what? You don't, you don't know who you are. You don't know where you came from. You don't know who you loved, who loved you back, and you were just able to walk away. How? I didn't really have an option, unless I wanted to be standing still forever. Right there. That's exactly me. I'm standing still. With Patrick, I, I, I refuse to move forward. It's like I'm, I'm paralyzed, even though I know. I mean, I know that Jason's gone. Well, maybe your head knows, but your heart's a different story. Maybe. I just, I wish I had some sort of closure, you know, like, like an, a body or just some information. There was so much mystery surrounding Jason's death. I mean, what was he thinking? How how is he feeling? Did he even did he even know? Oh, when Patrick told me that he actually passed away at the clinic, I was furious. Because Patrick didn't tell you. Yes, and because I didn't get a chance to say goodbye to Jason. I mean, it was one thing that he disappeared into the harbor, but to know that he was actually alive and I, I could have held his hand. I could have told him I loved him one last time. Well, maybe that's why you've held on for so long. You know, maybe, uh, maybe that's why that little voice won't go away. Maybe. But sometimes I feel like he is right beside me. Like I could just reach out and touch him. I'm sorry. Why are you sorry? Because you came here to pick up food, and I just went on and on about my deceased husband. Well, actually, I owe you. I don't know if you recall that I almost blew up an entire boat full of party guests. No, that doesn't ring a bell. Well, because of you, I remembered I was able to stop it, and because of you, 53 people are still alive. <laughs> no, I, I wouldn't say that. I would. So, look, if, if you need a sounding board, I could be your sounding board, no problem. Be careful what you offer. I can handle it, trust me. Okay, I just, I, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how to clear this hurdle in my life so I can move forward with Patrick. I mean, I want a life with Patrick, but I, I, I don't, I don't want to hurt him. You know, I didn't know.